Hey, Anthony, congratulations. I wanted to ask you about what was more gratifying for you, the eight for 113 or the block to lead the way on the game-winning touchdown? Um, I mean, the win was the most important for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, I like getting in the block and kind of being a part of everything, you know. And I also wanted to ask you about the 601 yards of offense. No Warren Moon run and shoot offense ever put up those numbers for, for this franchise before. How crazy was it to see this offense move up and down the field like that? Yeah, I was so excited for the whole offense and the team. And, I mean, we're never satisfied as an offense. So we just got to keep growing and keep improving. And I think everyone's finding a way to step up and find their role and make plays for this offense. So we just got to keep rolling. Well clear. Uh, Anthony, when when Jonu goes out, does, do certain parts of the playbook go out too, or or were you guys able to kind of keep the whole offense intact and and you and uh, and Swaim able to to handle everything in there? Yeah, no, we we prepare each week that everyone can do any role that we have in the offense. So um, yeah, whether it's Jeff, me, um, Kari, um, yeah, everyone's able to kind of step up and pick up that role, like no matter what happens throughout the game, because you know that's bound to happen in football. So we're all ready to step up at any point. Two more. Hey, Anthony, sorry if you talk about this earlier, but how, how does this team, how is this team able to kind of keep its poise in such pressure packed situations like it did at the end of regulation and then again in overtime? Yeah, I mean, we've been in this, those same situations over and over again and have executed and have won the game. So I think just trusting our guys and never feeling like we're out of it. Um, everyone always is always in tune and we practice that situation multiple times. So just being able to execute it and get the job done. And, and what is the feeling? Obviously, a lot of pressure in those positions. And then when you win on a walk-off, which doesn't happen very often, what, what is kind of the euphoria like when, when you see Derek cross the goal line and you know it's game over? Yeah, I mean, we were we were thrilled. I mean, everyone's jumping around, everyone's celebrating. So it was a tough week of work, short week, short, short turnaround. So we're just excited to get that win and go on to win next week. Corey Curtis. Uh, Anthony, what was the reaction in the huddle when the Wildcat was called at the five-yard line? Because we were all stunned. No, nah, I mean, we, yeah, we always have different types of plays to give the defense different looks. So, I mean, we've been practicing week in, week out. So, I mean, there was no consternation. So, we just kind of went ahead and had to execute. David Beauclair. Anthony, do you, does it feel like it, in a game like this that you're putting up big numbers? I mean, are, are you aware of that? And, and knowing that, you know, you'll do whatever it takes to win, how gratifying to have that kind of performance in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, I'm just focused on, I'm focused on winning the game and whatever I can do to help is, um, that's kind of the job and the role I see. And yeah, if I end up catching the ball, if I end up having to make blocks, I mean, that's just kind of the role I have to embrace. And I'm just excited that we got the win.